Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews. Today, I'm talking about how to find American-made furniture. I'm going to be talking about how to spot furniture made in the USA, my top picks for American-made furniture, and be sure to stick around to the end of the video where we'll be answering some frequently asked questions. I've also written about this exact same topic before, so check in the description below for a link to that article. And if you're passionate about buying American-made products, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and head over to allamericanreviews.com. You'll find a ton of research and buying guides on how to find products made in the USA. Let's get started with how to find American-made furniture. First, let's cover how to spot furniture made in the USA. Like I covered in my first video on how to find products made in the USA, words matter. Look for made in the USA language and be sure to watch out for those qualifiers like assembled in the USA and made in the USA with global materials. A lot of furniture manufacturers aren't super transparent with where all of their parts are manufactured and will often use inclusive language with those qualifiers like I mentioned. Be sure to check their website for sourcing information, and if they're using vague language or if it's really tough to find, make sure to give them a call. I cover all of these tips and more in my video on how to find products made in the USA, so if you haven't already, make sure to check out that video. Specific to furniture, you also need to make sure that you watch out for those large furniture conglomerates. Universal Furniture is one of those. If you go to their website, they push shop local a lot. Now I'm all for supporting local manufacturing, but what Universal Furniture doesn't tell you is that all of their manufacturing is done in Asia. In fact, they're actually owned by Samson Holding, one of the largest furniture makers in China. They don't sell much of their furniture online, but watch out for Universal Furniture and some of those other large furniture conglomerates when you're shopping local. Ashley Furniture is another one of those. They have some US production, but most of their production is in China and Vietnam. Let's get to some furniture brands made in the USA. Now this is a category with a bunch of great American made options. I'm only going to cover a few in today's video, but leave a comment below with your favorite furniture manufacturers made in the USA. And of course, you can always check out all of our furniture articles on All American Reviews for a full list. First up, we have Floyd. Floyd is based in Michigan and makes a variety of home furnishings, everything from beds to sofas to tables and tons of other stuff. They have a bit more of a modern feel to them and not only have a really good focus on American manufacturing, but are also super environmentally sustainable and make quality products that are built to last. Now, pretty much every brand in the world says their products are built to last, so how I think Floyd delivers on that promise is their modular design. All of their furniture is super easy to assemble, disassemble, it's super easy for moving, and if you need to replace a part, whether it's for it's broken or just worn down, they can do that really, really easily. Not a lot of furniture manufacturers can make that promise. So be sure to check out Floyd. You can find them on a bunch of furniture articles on All American Reviews. Next up, we have Modernica. Modernica is a relatively new furniture manufacturer. They've only been around for about 30 years, but are a family owned and operated business out of Los Angeles, California. They have a five acre campus in LA where they manufacture all of their furniture. Everything from hardwood, upholstery, fiberglass, ceramics, it's all made there. Much like the name suggests, Modernica makes modern looking furniture. I particularly like their sofas and bed frames, so make sure to check those out. They also have really cool old school looking fiberglass chairs. They use a really classic process of high pressure fiberglass molding, but put a bit of a modern twist on it with a bunch of different design options. I think those chairs look really cool, so be sure to check those out as well. Next up, we have Simplicity Sofas. Simplicity Sofas is based in High Point, North Carolina, which is often referred to as the furniture capital of the world. They are owned by a company called DeMarmel, which purchased them back in 2017 and is also a furniture manufacturer in High Point. What's unique about Simplicity Sofas is that they are designed for small spaces. They have a bunch of great sectionals, love seats, sleeper sofas, all available in a bunch of different style options. They do all of their manufacturing in the USA, and over 95% of their raw materials are sourced here. In fact, their fabrics and upholstery are also sourced from local North Carolina mills, which decreases their transportation carbon footprint. The last furniture brand that I'll cover today is Vaughn Bassett. Vaughn Bassett is based in Gallic, Virginia, and has been around for a long time, over 100 years, I think. They have factories in Virginia and North Carolina with hundreds of American workers and make 100% of their products domestically. 
They mostly focus on wooden bedroom furniture, so think things like bed frames, headboards, dressers. They're all made from great hardwoods like pine, maple, oak, cherry, all sourced from around the Southeast United States. Personally, I'm a fan of their Gilchrist poster beds. I think they look really nice. Everybody has different tastes though, so be sure to check out their entire product catalog. Now, let's cover some frequently asked questions. First up, is American-made furniture more expensive than Chinese furniture? And the answer is no, absolutely not. American-made furniture is not blanket more expensive than Chinese furniture. There are a ton of different factors that go into the final retail price that we pay as consumers. While labor and raw materials are cheaper in China, transportation costs are typically higher and there are tariffs on imports. As many of y'all know, the US and China are currently in a trade dispute, which has resulted in a lot of Chinese furniture tariffs being as high as 25% in the last couple of years, which can significantly affect the final price that we pay as consumers. And finally, just how many furniture manufacturers are there in the USA? According to the latest 2020 data, there are over 9,000 furniture manufacturers in the USA. Now, not all of those are made in America, so make sure to do your research. And of course, if y'all have any questions, leave a comment below or shoot us a message at All American Reviews. We'll find an answer for you and write something up. That's it for this video on finding furniture made in the USA. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See y'all next time.